In this lesson, we're going to obtain information about a function from its graph. And that sounds really complicated and fancy, but really, all we're doing is this. Even without knowing a function's equation, we can determine a y value for a given x or an x value for a given y. That's all that we're going to be doing. So let's look at a graph here. And we'll use the, the graph to determine f of negative 2. Now, if you remember um, function notation from a couple of lessons ago, we know that the negative 2 represents an x value, and f of negative 2 represents the y value that we get when the x is negative 2. So if I go on the graph to x equals negative 2 and trace up to the graph, I can see that y equals 3. So when x equals negative 2, y equals 3, therefore f of negative 2 is 3. Let's do the same thing for f of 1. So 1 is an x value. So if I trace on the graph to where x equals 1, I can see that the y value of the graph there is 0. Okay, now let's do it backwards. For what value of x is f of x equal to 4. In other words, the y value here is 4. So what is the x value that makes that happen? Well, let me find on the graph where y equals 4. That happens here. And at this point, x is equal to negative 1. So negative 1 comma 4. So when y is 4, x is negative 1. Okay, for what value of x is f of x equal to 3? Well, when y is equal to 3, I have two different x values. When y is equal to 3, x could equal 0, and x could also equal negative 2. Remember, it's okay in a function for a y value to match two different x's. It's just not okay for an x value to match two different y's. All right, so the two x values we get here are z or uh, zero and negative two. Okay, here's a new graph. Use the graph to determine f of negative two. So remember, negative two is an x value, and we're looking for the function value at negative two, or in other words, the y value. So when x equals negative two, y equals one. Okay, now let's find f of 2. So when x equals positive 2, y equals 3. All right, and let's do it the other way. For what value of x is f of x equal to 1? Well, I already wrote the answer here, but um, 